Okay, you crazy kids. This is Moonlight in Vermont, a beautiful, um, a mel uh, a melancholy, romantic, romantic tune. And it is starts moderately slow, and we have some repeat signs to watch out for. We also have a lovely A flat here. Make sure you play that with some uh, energy, not loud, just play it with a bit of emphasis in your phrase. It's a beautiful note. Um, and then we also have this rhythm here we're going to have to pull apart a bit. Also, we're going to utilize this shift as well where we come up here. And there's some form markers such as da capo el coda, so to go back to the top until it says coda, then you're going to play the coda. So it's basically A, A second time, B, A, jump down to coda. So you don't play those first or second time markers on the second time, sorry, the third time through that A section, okay? Uh, the tempos, I put it at 66, so it's not supposed to be too loud. Sorry, this is making this rattling sound. It's very irritating. Um, so, here we G.I. Joe. Uh, one thing I like to do with slow tempos, if it's a little tricky to keep in time, and you know, things seem to shift, it's not the machine shifting, it's your brain, yeah? Um, and it's normal. I, I'm exactly the same. I've been playing music for years and it's a little tricky to stay in time with slow tempos. So what I like to do is imagine where the upbeat is and count the upbeat in my mind. So I don't just go one, two, three, four. I go one and two and three and four and. That helps me keep in better time So I'm sort of calculating those distances. It helps help me be a better judge of distance. Just like um, if I was to measure how th far I threw a stone, if I threw a stone, say, two metres, I'd be more accurate at, at, say, accurately throwing it than if I tried to throw it at 20 metres. I'd be less accurate. It's just the way things are. Okay, two bars count in again. Here we go. Two, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and rhythm. time the end then didn't I but that's how we're going to have it conducted my apologies I should have played it in time just for practice sake but really at that point I should have looked up as though I was looking at the conductor imagining that me or Dave are conducting it okay great beautiful melody really spend the time to work out this rhythm because when you play that right and you give it its justice what it deserves the music sounds really beautiful. This is actually kind of the unsung hero, the important part that people don't realize. Even though this is the most beautiful section of the melody, this part here is more like the, the heartbeat of the music. You feel this trembling heart of the, the, the lover of the love. It's kind of a love story or something. And this is the, the fluttering heartbeat of the, of the, of the lover. <laughs> anyway, I'm over-interpreting it. Um, have fun with that. <laughs> 